Okay, and there you have it. Uh, this is your website. You can see here's my address. It's all ready to go. Um, let me just take you through this template so you can understand how this particular template is organized. Uh, this is our home page, our welcome. Um, there's a place for bio and students can go in here and edit this page and add their bio information. Coursework. Students can make a list, a table, or a timeline of all the courses they have taken, have to take, or want to take. Uh, we created a journal for this template, and we did the, just a trick on the hack we did. We used the announcements type page. When you create a new page, you have a choice of what type of page, and we made an announcement page, which acts a lot like a, a log or a blog. Um, we also have our objectives, which also can be found on the home page. These we're particularly working with the first year studies. Most ePortfolios are organized by themes, strands, or objectives, and these are the ones we'll be working with uh, for this particular template. Uh, so you can see, for example, communication. Under this page, we'll be posting um, journal posts that represent artifacts of our writing and speaking skills. Uh, so we're going to talk a little bit more how we're going to bring those in and organize but I just want to give you an overview on how this particular thing works this template you can see you can edit this page put your name major and a picture and we have a a list of your aggregated journal entries down here below alright let's get in here and show you how this um, Google Sites work now I'm not going to give you a full demo on all the different tools. I'm just going to show you the basic uh, features to get you started. First thing, most important, the magic edit button. Watch what happens when I hit this edit button. Magic. Notice the website has just opened up and you have this toolbar just like you have in Microsoft Word uh, or PowerPoint. So now we can actually edit our page. So I can edit this template and say this this okay so real simple I can even change uh, bold turn the bold off turn the bold on un underline just like Microsoft Word um, I can continue to add this but you get the idea welcome to my Googleio for my learning and my advisor put your own welcome message and I'm going to show you real quick on how to insert a photo um, so you put your cursor where you want that photo insert image there's two different ways that you can um, upload or link to a picture one you can upload like you choose a file like you're attaching a document to your email or two you can use a web address now I already have a picture of me on the uh, on another website so let me just get that to show you how you can bring pictures in through linking instead of embedding and here's a picture of me if I click on it this is a web page with just this picture you can see this long email this all long web address I'm gonna copy this or control C I'm gonna go back paste and hit OK and then I can change uh, I want to align the center left to right I want to make this medium and I could wrap on and off I think you get the picture hit save and just that easy you can see I've already started tailoring this template for me